Hi everyone, welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to establish fax forwarding rules from your Kyocera MFP. In today's digital printing environment, walking up to the physical machine to collect paper faxes can be a time-consuming process. However, the Kyocera will allow you to set up rules that will allow you to send faxes to an email or a folder destination, reducing the need for a physical presence in the office for faxes. Now, we're going to be reviewing two ways to set this up. The first will be through the web interface of the copier. The second will be through the touch screen interface of the copier as well, the physical panel. So without further ado, let's get started. You'll need the IP address in order to access the web interface of the copier. Once you have that, please access the web interface of the copier. You will need to, of course, log in as an admin. If you don't know how to do so, please reach out to your service provider and they'll be more than happy to assist you with this. Once you're here, you'll go to Function Settings. You'll see Rx Forward Rules. Rx stands for Reception. And so we are going to be setting up the reception forwarding rules for when we receive a fax. So in terms of granularity of settings here, if I click settings up top here, uh, I can set up uh, specific rules for specific RXs. So I can say that if I receive a, a transmission from a certain fax number, it can be set up to, do, to go to a different destination. Uh, or if I want all faxes uh, to go to the same destination, I can establish that now. So as I work my way down the screen here with my RX forward rules, I can choose my forward destination. This is the destination that when the machine receives a fax, it will forward the fax onto in a digital format. This can be an email, a folder, or another fax number. In this particular example, I have it set up to scan to forward to an email. So all faxes received at this machine will forward to test at bdsdoc.com, at which point I'll receive a notification in my email that a fax has arrived. What I can also do in here too is if I want to conserve paper, I can set up my print settings so that when a fax is received, it just won't even print out. It'll only be forwarded to the address indicated in the forward destination field. Once I have chosen the decision uh, and made all the settings changes that I wish to make, I'll simply click the submit button. And what this will do is it will save the settings and fax forwarding is now enabled on our machine. If I wanted to create a specific rule for a specific phone number, a uh, specific fax number, if I click add rule here, it will allow me to name the rule, determine the rule type as well as the sub address. And then from there, I can change additional rules uh, for specific phone numbers. Now that we've changed the fax forwarding rules on the web interface of the copier, let's do it through the touch screen panel if you happen to be physically in front of the machine. So at my machine, I will hit system menu. And then from here, I will go to fax. And then just like on the web interface, I'm looking for my Rx forwarding rules. Rx for reception, of course. I see it on the left hand side, three lines down. I'll click next. And then from here, I have the rule Use rule for all receptions. What I want is I would like to change my printing option so it doesn't print, which is already set up. And my forward settings, what I want to do is I want to choose my forward destination on the right-hand side here. I can change that to uh, an email address entry, a folder entry, or a fax entry. As you can see, there are slightly more button presses and menu interfaces that one needs to interact with here. So whenever possible, we recommend that you make settings changes like this on the web interface. But once you've confirmed your destination and you have enabled your RX forward rules, if you hit OK, close, and then close again to take you back to the home screen, you now have fax forwarding set up. Well, there you have it, folks. I want to thank you for joining me today. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. And I look uh, in today's video, we discussed how to enable fax forwarding from both the web UI as well as the touchscreen interface of the copier. Thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Mm -hmm.